Hello and welcome to another episode of Cup TV. My name is Sarah Edwards and I am an exclusive designer for craftsprint.com. Today we're going to be making this card. It's a Christmas Animals 3D Concertina window kit and the item number is Cup 219748 underscore 172. Now these cards are something a little bit different because they're really 3D. If I turn it over you can see all the different levels. And not only that, but it folds completely flat for posting, so you can fit it in a normal envelope, like that. The first thing we need to do is print out all of the sheets in the kit. It's best to print it out on something a little bit heavy, for example glossy photo paper, or Crafty Print special Crafty Bob paper, which is brilliant for this type of project. Once you've printed everything out, start cutting it, so you've got the inside back, which looks like this, the front, and make sure you cut out the square in the middle as well. You've got four side panels, like this. You've got a concertina, which looks like this. And you've got an outside back panel, two Christmas animals, you've got a penguin and a teddy bear, and then you'll also have for decoration three little squares showing a nice little Christmas picture there, and your sentiments as well. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is take the front of the card, which looks like this, and we're going to score some edges. So you want to score down each of the black lines at the edge and also down the edge of the frame as well. Now the best way to do this is with a proper scoring tool, but I don't have one, so I'm doing it the old fashioned way. Once you've scored down all the lines, you want to fold them, so turn your sheet upside down so that you're seeing the back of the paper, and then you want to fold inwards on the two score lines at the edge of the frame, so you end up with this, and then again you want to fold um, inwards with the tabs, so like this. you've ended up with something that looks like that. So put that aside for a minute and get your inside back panel, which looks like this, and we're going to score down each side of the picture. to make sure you've got the picture facing upwards and you want to fold the tabs inwards so that you end up with that. So then get your front back again and then on the two tabs where it says tape here we're going to put some double sided sticky tape. So put tape all the way down the tab. and then cut it off at the bottom on both sides. Okay, and peel off the tape. Okay, now because this is symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way around you get it up, so you don't need to worry about that. Take your inside back that you've just folded and we're going to stick them together. So you want to make sure that you stick the sticky tab to the 
inside tab on the back. That's one side. And the other. Okay, so you can see you've made the basic framework of your card. And if you push the sides together, you can see how it's going to fold flat for when you post it. Okay, the next stage is to do the concertina bottom. So take your concertina sheet, which looks like this, and you want to score down each of the black lines that are on the sheet. So I've already done that, so I'm going to start folding it. So start at one end with the white tabs, and the first fold you want to do is a valley fold. So you're going to fold it inwards, like that. And then the next one you're going to do is a mountain fold. So if you hold it flat, you want to fold it upwards, like a mountain. The next one, do a valley fold, so fold it inwards. The next one is another mountain fold, which is that way. And then for the last tab, fold it inwards, like so. And you end up with a concertina image that you can fold flat. And it looks like that if you pull it out. So we're going to stick it to our card, so it's going to go inside the main template. So, you can see here, if you put your concertina in front, you want to put the first bit of sticky tape along the underside of the first white tab. Clean off your back. And then you're going to stick this inside the front of the bottom of your card. So it goes right along the bottom edge, making sure that the fold line aligns with the bottom of your card. Okay, so we've ended up with this. The next thing you want to do is fold your concertina up like this and then it's going to go so that your little tab at the back is on the back of the card, like this. So you need to put your double sided tape on. This time it goes on the printed side of the concertina. So if you're using photo paper, it'll be the shiny side. And then stick it to the back of your card. Oops. I've done that well. Let's start again. This isn't actually as tricky as I'm making it look. I'm just uh, messing it up. <laughs> okay, there we go. So if you turn your card around to the front, you can see you've got your outer shape and your concertina in the middle. The next thing we're going to do is the edges. So you've got your four side panels here. For each one, you want to score down the middle line. And then two of them we're going to fold inwards like this. And the other two we're going to fold outwards like that. Okay, so the next thing to do is select one of your tabs, we'll choose this one, and you want to put double sided tape all the way around the edge. So 
So I do the long sides and make sure you do the short sides as well. And what we're going to do with these is use them to decorate the white parts of the card. So for the two that fold inwards like that, we're going to put them on the outside edge like this. Like so. Okay, so this one needs to go inside. So just slide it down like so and stick it in. Make sure it sticks all the way down. And then again with your other two, just do exactly the same for the other side of the card. So we stick one on the outside. See, I was rushing and I kind of messed that one up, so you need to take your time, unlike what I'm doing. And then the other one goes on the inside. Okay, so you can see now you've got your front and your sides covered, but the back's looking a little bit plain. So we take our back panel and again put sticky tape all the way around the edge. If you already know who your card's going to go to, then it's a good idea to write your message on the back panel now before you stick it on. It just makes it a little bit easier. So then simply turn your card over, flatten it out and then stick your back panel to the back of the card and it will line up so that all of the white is covered. There we go. Okay, so there's just one more step now, which is to add your animals in. So take your two animals, turn them upside down. And we're just going to put a tiny bit of tape near the bottom of each animal. So make sure you don't go too far up the design. And then we're going to put them onto the concertina edge. So I'm going to start with the penguin and I'm going to stick him in here like so and then the teddy bear I'm going to put at the back. Just make sure he goes on the second concertina edge to give your card a lovely bit of depth. Now as you can see they're kind of looking a little bit flat so to make them stand out a bit more, just take the animals and bend them very gently so that you don't actually bend the card, but it just means they stick out a little bit more. Okay, so now you have your finished card. So you can use your embellishments to add a bit more if you want, but I think I'm going to leave mine like this. 
Okay, thank you for watching this episode of Cup TV, and I'm really sorry about all the mistakes I made. Um, if you like this design, um, there's lots more available at crowdsuprint.com forward slash Sarah Edwards. Thank you.